A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring, seven angels with the seven last plagues, for through them God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire, and the sea of glass was stand on the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast and its image, and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Grant, great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. Verbum Domini. Great and wonderful all your works, Lord mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory from his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He's revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominus Rabiscum Lexio. Sancte Evangelii Segundum Lucum. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. And they will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead you to giving testimony. Remember you're not to prepare your defense beforehand. For I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, and relatives, and friends. And they'll put some of you to death. You'll be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you can see I'm in the Mother Teresa Mobile Chapel. And the evil one is trying to tweak me a little bit. I'm having trouble keeping up the uh, the veil there of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And then I went to ring the bells, and one of the bells fell off the handle. So that's why I was smiling at the beginning of the week. The evil one's always trying to get in there. And, of course, he's trying to get in there now and, uh, with the technology. But I know you can see the video okay. We just can't see it. It's very staggered. Uh, but that that's all right. I know that you can see it all right, and that's important. And I want to thank the 178 people that are now watching. That is amazing. So, again, the evil one's getting in here because this is the time of preparation for the season of preparation, right? Sunday starts uh, the Advent, the season of preparation for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And now we should be preparing. And again, the proper Gospels uh, are uh, being proclaimed where Jesus is telling us about trials and tribulations and, and that we shouldn't worry about what we say when we're persecuted, but that we will be persecuted. And some of us will be led to martyrdom. And of course, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Clement, uh, who was the fourth pope. St. Clement was the fourth pope. Now, Peter wanted St. Clement to be the second pope. 
and he refused and then ended up being the fourth pope. Clement the fourth pope was an eyewitness to the teachings of the apostles. Tertullian tells us that St. Peter himself ordained Clement. Around the year 100, Clement was succeeded by Pope Avaristus. A tradition from the 4th century has Clement dying in the persecutions under the Emperor Trajan. It's said that the pontiff was exiled to Crimea, where his zealous preaching and miracles led to his execution by drowning. In art, Clement bears the anchor that dragged his feet to the ocean floor. Sometimes Clement is depicted as thrown out of the boat. He's a patron of fishermen. All right, so St. Clement intercede for us. And that uh, being a patron of fishermen, and of course we're all fishermen, right? We are all called to go out into the world to be fishers of men just like the apostles. Now, not in the same way that, that bishops and priests are, the Pope is, but we're still called to evangelize. And that's why this season of Advent really is an opportunity for us to evangelize by how we immerse ourselves into this season of reparation, penance, uh, repentance, uh, conversion, uh, that people will know that indeed we are Christian. Now, in this secular world where nobody wants to mention the word Christmas, where nobody wants to say Christmas, let us prepare ourselves uh, for the uh, a season of Advent, which is not Christmas, the season of Advent, by uh, wishing people a very blessed and holy upcoming season of Christmas, right? That is apropos for Advent. Right, where we can actually challenge people and encourage people to uh, be prepared. Right, uh, you know, uh, I, I wish you a very blessed upcoming season of Christmas. Right, so that's a reminder that we're not in the Christmas season yet, uh, but that indeed the Christmas season is coming, and we want to bless them. We want to encourage them to have. A blessed, a holy Christmas season, a season that is, and again, you can take it one step further. Uh, I am wishing you, or hoping that you have a, a blessed and holy uh, season of the birthday of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? Uh, that is a way of evangelizing. So, there's so many things that we can do. I will continue to talk to you each day about some of the things that we can do even as we enter into Advent. Of course, being conscious of the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the imprisoned, right? The homeless, the homebound, uh, those in nursing homes, those who are lonely, away from their families. Uh, just let's be conscious of them and ask our Lord to give us opportunities to reach out to them, the least of Christ's brethren, and of course, always be mindful of the least of the least, our little brothers and sisters in the womb, uh, this excluded constitutional class that is being mass murdered by government-sanctioned, government-funded, government-protected, daily mass murder of pre-born children. 